We begin our third meditation with another of the Good Friday Collects. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him, who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue in our reading from Isaiah 53. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had no violence, nor was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So as the long hours of the day wore on, Jesus knew that his death was approaching. He knew that soon he would have completed what he had to do. We hear his words, I am thirsty. We return to John's account. Later, Knowing that everything had now been finished and that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. Lord, we pray for those who are thirsty today. For those who live in lands that are parched and dry. For those who in illness feel the pain of thirst. And for those who are thirsty in their souls. We pray for those enduring war in Ukraine and in so many other parts of the world, who are being deprived of life's most basic and essential needs. For those who are struggling for access to water, for those who cannot get out to find food, for those who are without heating and enduring cold, May they find in their suffering that you are suffering with them. And may they know that you have suffered for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Jesus' words, it is finished. And read a short sentence from John's Gospel. When Jesus had received the drink, he said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Almighty God, we pray for the grace and strength to complete the task you have given us to do, to complete them without grudging or complaint, always drawing our strength from you. 
We pray especially for all those who need added grace and strength at this time of war. We pray that you will give us grace and strength to continue in our prayer. We pray that you will give grace and strength to those who are seeking to bring relief at this time, to those who are suffering the greatest hardship. We pray that you will grant courage and endurance to those who are living in the midst of the intolerable suffering that war brings in its wake. We ask these things in the name of Jesus, who for the sake of what lay before him, endured the cross, despising its shame, and is seated now at God's right hand. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. My song is love unknown, my Saviour's love to me, love to the loveless show, that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I, that for my sake, my Lord should take frail flesh and die? He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow. But men made strange, and none the longed-for Christ would know. But, oh, my friend, my friend indeed, who at my need his life did spend. Sometimes they strew his way, and his sweet praises sing, resounding all the day, hosannas to their king. Then crucify is all their breath, and for his death they thirst and cry. They rise, and needs will have my dear Lord made away. A murderer they save, the prince of life they slay. Yet cheerful he to suffering goes that he his foes from thence might free. Here might I stay and sing, no story so divine. Never was love, dear King, never was grief like thine. This is my friend, in whose sweet praise I all my days could gladly spend. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. 